before we can start talking about how it addresses medical devices, we have to understand what a medical device is. A medical device, any instrument, apparatus, appliance, software, implant, reagent, material, or other article that's intended by the manufacturer to be used alone or in combination with other things for human beings for one or more of the following specific medical purposes. Okay. So here's the medical purposes that bring us in scope, the device in scope. If the device is used to diagnose, prevent, monitor, predict, or treat a disease or other ailment, then it's a medical device. If it's used to diagnose, monitor, treat, or otherwise address an injury or a disability, it's also a medical device. If it's used to investigate, replace, or modify the anatomy of a site or a physiological or pathological process or state in the body, then it's also a medical device. And it's also, if it's any device that examines blood, uh, tissue, et cetera, from the human body, it is also a medical device. Okay, so those are the four things. So if any of these items, apparatus, software, does any of these functions, it's a medical device. However, it does mention that in addition to that, if the product uses pharmacological, metabolic, or other means like this where it's actually a pharmaceutical, then it's no longer a medical device. But it may be assisted by such means. So in other words, a product that dispenses insulin is a medical device, but the insulin itself is not a medical device. Okay. Also, what's considered medical devices specifically listed as medical devices in the regulation are birth control items, anything that controls the support of conception, um, or an opposite, you know, uh, fertility treatment type devices, and then uh, anything that's designed for cleaning, disinfection, or sterilization. So looking back at this, a couple of things I want to point out is that it says any instrument, apparatus, appliance, software. Notice software is on this list. So what that means is that if we create an app, an iPhone app that helps us you know, figure out what's causing our headache. You know, uh, we enter in our information and it tells us, you know, gives us a, a risk analysis of our health, anything like that. That software is now a medical device. So you're going to have to incorporate that into the medical device regulation processes. Okay. So that's one comment that I want to make about this. Uh, the other one is that notice it says for human beings, not for animals. So veterinarian equipment is not medical devices. Now going through this list, it's pretty simple when it talks about if it diagnoses or treats a disease or disability, we can understand what that means. Now when it talks about investigation, replacement, or modification of the anatomy or of a physiological or pathological process or state, what it's saying is that if we have some device that messes with our heart rate, right, like a pacemaker, that changes the uh, pathological or physiological process or state. And so even though it may not treat a disease or an injury, if we have something that's messing with uh, how our body works, that's a medical device. The same goes for any kind of limb replacement, you know, uh, that would also be considered a medical device, right? And then down here where it talks about means of in vitro examination of specimens, this would be a good example of this would be like uh, diabetics. Well, uh, people who have diabetes will sometimes have a blood sugar monitor at home, which is a handheld device. It's an electronic device. They prick their finger, they put a drop of blood on there, and then it, it tells them their blood sugar. So that is, device is not um, really treating a disease or anything, but it is monitoring, so it kind of falls into that category. But it's also an examination of specimens derived from the human body. So um, because of that, it's considered in scope as a medical device, okay? There are some devices that are explicitly excluded from the scope. So obviously we already know that in vitro diagnostic medical devices are excluded because they're covered under the IVDR. We know medicinal products like pharmaceuticals and anything designed, vitamins, anything designed to, um, you know, provide us some kind of nutrition or medicine is considered out of scope for MDR. So those items are not medical products as human blood, blood products, plasma, also not medical devices, any containers, bags, and, and that incorporate them when placed on the market are also not, right? Cosmetic products may be covered by this regulation if they're not already covered by the cosmetics products regulation. Transplants, uh, tissues or cells of animal origin and derivatives uh, and products containing or consisting of them, not necessarily considered in scope for this product. Now, if we have something that's in scope that contains those substances, we may have to note that 
So don't say, well, I have some animal tissue in my product, so it's not a medical device. It's not 100% true. The animal uh, cells themselves are not medical devices, but, uh, and maybe the product you're shipping them in is not a medical device. But if the product itself has some other function that brings it into the scope of a medical device, then it would be. Okay. And food is also not covered by this regulation. It's covered by another regulation as well. Learn more by viewing the full-length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.